one of IR's core products is layering. And uh, obviously, as a, as a kayaker, layering is, is an important part of, of your sport. Um, and IR uses a variety of materials for its layering. And what I'd like to do is just go through the different materials we use for, for, uh, for our layering pieces. And what I've done is I've actually cut out some swatches of the fabric. And, and that way, I think um, I can sort of show you the hand feel of, e of each of the fabrics and describe how you, how you might want to use them. The lightest weight fabric we use is a material we use in the silk skin. Uh, you can think of this material as a very, very lightweight lycra. Uh, this material has almost no thermal property whatsoever. Um, it's really meant to be a quick drying uh, piece for sun protection. Um, this would be perfect to wear on its own on a warm day uh, or you know, on a summer day where you're trying to get sunburned. The next weight of fabric up uh, that we use on our layering is the fabric we find in the thin skins. This fabric has a very similar hand feel to like a t-shirt, uh, but it's not made of cotton. It's made out of a very quick drying polyester bamboo blend. Um, because it's a little bit thicker, it has a little more thermal properties than the silk skin. However, its primary function is still, uh, it would still be sun protection and maybe wicking. So uh, applications for this kind of garment would be, you could certainly wear it as a standalone garment, uh, you know, on a hot day where you're trying to keep the sun off of you, or perhaps you're paddling in very cold water on a hot day, like you may find in Colorado, and you're wearing a dry top, but you really need minimal uh, insulation uh, under that dry top. This is the perfect garment for that because it's going to protect you from the abrasion of the inside of the dry top, but also wick moisture away from your body, uh, and it'll be nice. It'll offer just a little bit of thermal properties as well. Next up is our thick skin. Uh, and the thick skin has a very similar weight and, uh, and hand feel to maybe like a, a heavy flannel shirt. This is 200, uh, 200 weight uh, fleece. It's actually 232 grams per meter. Um, so if you're familiar with Polar Tech 200, this is almost exactly the same, same weight as that. Um, at this weight, we're starting to get into real thermal properties here. This is the kind of thing you'd want to wear under a paddle jacket or a dry top on, on cool or cold weather. Uh, and in fact, if you wanted to, you could even start doubling these things up. A thin skin underneath a thick skin. That will provide you another, another thermal uh, layer to the, to the system. Um, this is material that we use not only on the thick skins, but of course on our union suit as well. Next up is the polar skin. Uh, this is the material that you'd find in the body of our polar skin uh, shirts. Uh, now, in the arms and the lower torso of the polar skin, where, where you don't need as much thermal insulation, we use a material like the thick skin. Um, but the main body of the polar skin, it uses this, this fleece right here. And this has a similar hand feel to like a hooded sweatshirt. Um, it's also closer to 300 grams per meter, which is going to make it more of an expedition weight piece of, of layering. This is for really cold weather paddling. Uh, this is the kind of thing you'd wear in the middle of winter underneath a dry suit or a dry top. If it was really, really cold, you could combine this piece with a thin skin or a thick skin underneath it for really frigid conditions. Last up is the thermoskin material. Now, the other layering pieces are all knit fabrics. Uh, the thermoskin is different in the sense that this is neoprene. Um, it's a very thin neoprene. It has stretch to it, but it's neoprene nonetheless. Now, what that means is, is that this neoprene does not breathe nor does it wick any moisture. This is, this is completely waterproof. Um, if you were to blow on it, you can see that no wind goes through it. Um, now, why would you want to wear a layering piece like this? Um, the great thing about neoprene, while that it doesn't breathe that much, it does offer wind protection and great thermal uh, properties all in one package. So you could go out paddling on a breezy day with just one layering piece, no paddle jacket needed. Um, these are also uh, great if it's really, really cold out. Uh, you can wear one of these uh, underneath a dry suit or a dry top if it's freezing outside um, under conditions where sweating or, or you know, uh, being overheated is not an issue. Um, you know, the one downside of thermoskin material, though, is that it has no, there's one temperature setting for this. It's not going to be a, a, a dynamic layering system like the woven fabric. But nonetheless, if you want to have windproof, uh, wind protection and great thermal properties in one layering piece. The thermoskin is a great piece for that. So in summary, IR makes uh, five different weights of layering. It makes the silk skin, it makes the thin skin, the thick skin, the polar skin, and the thermoskin. Uh, and the great thing about all these layering pieces is that you can pick and choose uh, what you need for any particular paddling condition, and you can also combine them for a variety of for paddling in almost any kind of circumstances.